Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today I've got another episode of Too Sweet. And I'm going to call this Too Sweet because it technically is <laughs> a sweet. And uh, it, could, it could be considered a snack, but I'm going to go with Too Sweet because it is sort of chocolate and it's a treat. So what this is, is something I've always wanted to try. I've seen a lot of people on the Japanese uh, channels and the one the people over in Japan, they always talk about this uh, snack. It's called mochi. And I found this in my grocery store. It's called mochi ice cream. They're like little bonbons. This one is chocolate flavor and thought I'd give it a try, <laughs> even though it's cold here, but I decided I'd go ahead and give this a try. And on here for one piece, the 80 calories, you can see on the back, all the good information there. And on the back here it says, and this is by Meida May N. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but that's the closest I can get. And on back here it says, May Da Ends Mochi Ice Cream. Bonbons are a East Meets West frozen dessert. Traditional Japanese style mochi is wrapped around indulgent American ice cream for a unique delight. And it says, chocolate mixed with prime cocoa and milk. Chocolate is one of the most flavorful favored ice cream flavors for both children and adults. Treat yourself to the tasty sweetness of creamy chocolate brought to you by May Meida Inn. And then it says mochi. Pronounced mochi is a Japanese style dough made of powdered pounded rice from the samurai era, era of the 21st century. Mochi has become a staple of Japanese sweets. Meida Inn handcrafts this Japanese tradition around one of America's favorite treats. And you can go, they have a madeain.com, and you could also call 1 866 madeain for information. I guess if you have a mochi emergency or something you want to talk to them about, I have no idea why you would want to call the mochi hotline. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Okay, I'm going to be serious here. Lately, I've been getting really goofy on these reviews. I don't know, maybe it's late at night and maybe I have too much sugar. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, here. I guess this also has uh, some Japanese characters. And maybe those of you over in Japan would know what they are. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. And uh, this does have a zip top. Zip it open. And I'm going to see. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, tell you the truth. <laughs> one of them looked like it got a little bit, uh, <laughs> kind of a little melted. <laughs> I guess, uh, I don't know. Maybe it was out in the outside. It got a little too warm, got a little melted. But I'm going to go ahead and try open. I'm going to open one and try one of the better pieces. So hopefully that'll, I know, I think you're supposed to eat these with toothpicks, but I don't have any. This doesn't look real appetizing, but here we go. This is kind of like a, I guess it's powdered sugar or whatever on the outside. And it's kind of got like that little doughy, the doughy style, and it is nice and cold. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hopefully... I'm going to try a little bit of it because it's going to be awful cold and I don't think I want to eat the whole thing all in one bite. So give this a try and see what it is. It's the first time trying any kind of mochi or any kind of, you know, frozen dessert, but I'll give it a try. So here we go. Hmm. There we go. There's the inside. Hmm. Um. The outside's a little bit, I don't want to say gooey, but it's like <laughs> a little sticky. 
Mm -hmm. The ice cream in the middle is good. The chocolate is nice and creamy. And this other, the outside part, the mochi is actually kind of melting around it <laughs> as I'm holding it. That actually blends well, and the mochi's kind of, kind of like a marshmallow, I guess. So this would be like a marshmallow wrapped piece of ice ice cream. It's actually interesting. It's pretty good. They had other flavors. I think they had a mint, and a, I think they might even had a green tea one and some other flavors. But I thought I'd go with chocolate for the first try. But I'm gonna have to. Eat some more of this because it's <laughs> making my fingers really cold. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it is a little sticky. Hmm. That's not bad. The ice cream is really good in there and the mochi on the outside it actually it works pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a rating on the mochi ice cream bonbons and it'd probably be something that i'd get again just because it was actually good the ice cream was nice and good it's a nice little snack you know Later at night, after you've had your dinner, <laughs> you want something just a little bit sweet. The mochi wasn't too sweet, so the ice cream was nice and chocolatey. So I'll give this one a 9 out of 11 for the mochi ice cream. It's pretty good as far as ice cream goes. The nice little mochi on the outside was a little bit like, sort of like a marshmallow didn't have a whole lot of chocolate flavor in the in the mochi itself it mostly came from the ice cream but it was kind of good it was interesting to try something a little bit different that I haven't tried before from other countries and so I thought that was kind of interesting to try so if you can find them in your store I think most grocery stores have them you can get them at I think even Walmart has them maybe Target. They were a little pricey. I think it was like $4.99 for the box. So that's a little bit, it's a little bit expensive, but you know, if you try it every once in a while, a little while, and you want to treat yourself a little bit, go ahead and give it a try and see if you like them or not. They, like I said, they had other flavors. They had a few different ones. I'm not really sure all the different flavors. I guess you can go to that website and you can check them all out see what all the other flavors they have but uh yeah that was uh that's pretty good i wouldn't mind trying that again i'd also like to try some of the other items that they have from japan like the japanese ice creams things like that but um can't really get them out here but i'll keep my eye out for them and hopefully i'll be able to find them so till next time drew's food reviews if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over here. And if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to try or particular items that uh, you like that maybe you think that I'd like, go ahead and leave it a comment down below. So, till next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I'll talk to you later.